What's up guys, Primal here with Mass Tactical and the Warrior Tribe getting you further, faster in your preparedness goals. Today we're taking a look at the Core Essentials Minimalist RFID Blocking Wallet. So stick around. Alright guys, welcome back. So we're taking a look at the Core Essentials Minimalist Slim Wallet here. This is a leather and carbon fiber hybrid style wallet. It's an RFID blocking wallet, so you do get some good security features there for your cards. Um, and the money clip itself is designed to hold up to 20 bills folded in half on the outside. I'm not a money clip kind of guy, so I just tend to put my business cards out here. And I've actually got this whole thing loaded out with business cards here, so you can kind of get a good idea of the thickness and, and the capabilities of this thing. Um, but like you know, any any wallet with leather, guys, if you go above the recommended minimums for uh, a particular slot, you will see some stretching. So as you can see here around this this edge here on the outside of this this pocket here, I've I've actually I, I keep a lot more cards in here than than you're supposed to. You're, it's only recommended for two cards on the outside and eight cards on the inside sleeve. So you get up to ten total cards that are as far as the recommended carry goes. But I actually load it out. And, and uh, have a little bit more but even with it loaded out it's still a lot slimmer than any of my other options were uh, whenever I was looking for a new RFID wallet so uh, another cool thing that I like about this wallet is that it is actually separatable to where you can um, take the money clip out from the the leather portion so we'll go ahead and remove my cards here on the outside and as you can see this money clip will actually slide out. So if you wanted to, like if you're going to a pool or something and you just wanted to have like your room key card and a couple bills with you or something, you know, you could just pop out that money clip and roll with the money clip. And something that I've actually had the idea to do, and I, I did this just for demonstration purposes here, um, actually on the back side here, I've taped a little dime to this just so you can see that you could actually, you know, if you wanted to or had some escape and evasion tools, uh, like some quick sticks or something like that. You could just easily tape those to the back of this and have that, you know, kind of covertly tucked away inside of the wallet. And, you know, if, if anybody was to ever steal it or something like that, they're probably not going to think to take that out. Um, and it's just kind of, you know, you, you can't see it or feel it anywhere else. Uh, and, the, you know, you just pull it back out and get access to it from there. Um, so, you know, Escape and evasion tools, uh, maybe a, a small fishing kit with some fish hooks or something like that. You know, whatever uh, you really want to do. This is not something I've seen anywhere else, but I just thought, that, you know, maybe, hey, this, you know, how could I conceal something in this wallet? And this is the idea that came to mind for me. So I just taped that there for demonstration purposes. So you can really put, you know, whatever you, you can imagine back there that's, that's thin that would fit and it'll slide right in no problem. Now, to get access to the inside of the, the wallet here, they've got this little smart pull tab, uh, and you just pull it, and it pulls the cards up with it. So you can, uh, like I said, you can have up to eight cards in that slot, um, and it's RFID blocking, so that's uh, you know, a pretty good feature there. And as far as that string being loose, when you put your cards back in, push them back down, it pulls that string back down with it. That string's just kind of sitting underneath the cards, so whenever you pull them, Pulls them right on out with it. Now flipping over to the reverse side, like I said, we've got this little sleeve in the back here. It is recommended for just two cards, um, but I keep, I probably keep six or seven in there myself. But as you can see, it's kind of, kind of stretched it a little bit. But like I said, that's to be expected when you're dealing with, with leather of any kind, guys. So as far as this RFID blocking uh, center section goes, this this is RFID blocking material, and it stops any unwanted smart chip scanning, which is you know, a lot of the chips that you'll see with a lot of your newer debit cards and stuff like that. Um, so therefore, you know, it keeps your credit card safe from unwanted scanning and identity theft. Without this feature, you know, individuals with a, you know, handheld card scanner could gather your credit card information while your wallet is still in your pocket, believe it or not. 
Um, so really, really awesome feature. I highly recommend anybody that, you know, if you're carrying cards, you definitely want to have some RFID protection. So this will do the job. So besides my intentional stretching back here by putting uh, more cards in it than recommended, uh, I've been using this thing for a couple of months, like I said now, and I've really not seen any kind of issues out, out of it. So the stitching is really, really superior to a lot of the other leather wallets that I've used. Uh, and, I, and I'm pretty rough on on this on on EDC items guys so um, you know this thing is held up really really well no fraying in the stitching whatsoever nothing's came loose uh, so like I said aside from the intentional stretching of this pocket you know it's it's held up really really well haven't had any issues with the money clip bending or anything falling out um, now if I did like downsize a card or something in this slot since I have stretched it I would have to worry about stuff falling out of that but as far as like the RFID sleeve or anything nothing falls out this is 100% secure um, and very very good quality craftsmanship from Core Essentials on this all right guys, so that's gonna do it for the Core Essentials Minimalist Slim Wallet here. I'm really, really impressed with it. I like it a lot myself. Core Essentials is mostly known for their gun belts though, and I'm actually gonna be doing a review on my gun belt from them pretty soon. They make fashion belts as well, and they also just released a brand new Kickstarter project for their new Ultimate Belt, which is a tactical uh, gun belt. So um, I'm really happy to get my hands on that soon. I'll be getting an early prototype to review for you guys, so be on the lookout for that. And remember, Core Essentials is one of our alliance partners so you guys do get discounts for being a fan and being a member of our warrior tribe so be sure to copy your codes whenever you go to core central's websites and put those in so you can save some money so till next time guys please remember to comment like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos thanks for all the support you give you guys give us you guys give our alliance partners and until next time i'll see you guys in the next video